Welcome to Hardcore Minecraft. In this series, we spawned on this amazing island, and the goal is to transform everything. So far in episode one, we built this awesome starter house with some crops, a really cool mining entrance, and these fishing docks. Oh, and we also found our first sniffer. <laughs> Look how cute. Now we have a lot of work to do today, so let's get this started. Oh hi, welcome back to my hardcore world. I'm so excited to keep building here in our area. I love our little starter island and our starter house just looks so pretty. I love this block palette. We're gonna be using this throughout this specific area over here. But besides the mining entrance, the starter house, the farms and the dock, this right here is my favorite part of everything. And we have an all grown up, beautiful little sniffer baby. And uh, yeah, this is getting uh, a little bit too small, but wait a minute. What did I just pick up? A pitcher pod! Oh, my first pitcher pod! Oh, hi! Hi, cutie! Oh, he's so pretty! And I asked you guys in the last episode to give me your best names, and I think we found the best of the best. Everybody, say hello to Rosie. <laughs> yes! What a beautiful name! And thank you for Nina Rose for giving us that beautiful bit of inspiration. Technically, the first flower that our Rosie smelled here in this world was this rose right here. So this is the perfect name. Let me grab a name tag which we got right here. Um, I just need an anvil. Hmm. Let's see if we can make one. Anything for my Rosie. And there it is, an anvil. One, two, three. Bam, Rosie! <laughs> Say hi to Rosie in the comment section right now. Don't worry, my friend. I will make this a lot bigger for you in a little bit. But for right now, I must plant this. Get out of here, potatoes. <laughs> oh, there it is. There's much more where that came from. And I want to give you guys a big old thank you and a high five for all the love and support on episode one. Thank you all so much. It really does feel awesome to see you guys really excited for this brand new series. So make sure right now, if you're not subscribed, subscribe because we're going to be transforming this whole entire island. And I want you guys to be along for the ride and leave a like for Rosie. She deserves it. And since I know you guys are experts at naming things, I need a very important name. Almost as important as the naming of Rosie. This name that I need is a name for all island right here. Whenever anybody asks, they're gonna be like, hey, what sauce is this island world called? Huh, that's what it's called? Man, that's pretty epic. <laughs> so name it right now. I'm gonna pick the best one in the next episode. And now to ensure that we have that name for a very long time, we need to make sure we don't die in this world. So far, our food situation is doing pretty good. We have a bunch of crops over here. We also have a good amount of animals hanging out on this part, so I think we're set in the uh, meat department. <laughs> Keep growing, my pretties. Keep growing. So I think the next thing we need to focus on is enchanting and getting diamond gear, of course. As of right now, our diamonds, eh, we got about nine. Out of those nine, I'm gonna make a pickaxe for sure. Also, let's stock up on some iron pickaxes too. So let's do a little checklist. What do we need right now? We need paper and leather to make books. From books, we make bookshelves. And then after that, we need an enchanting table. As far as paper, I only have 11 sugar cane right now. And as far as leather, uh, I got one. <laughs> I did relocate all of our sugar cane to... Excuse me? What are you guys doing over there? I'm going for a swim. Stay away from me, all right? So I did relocate all of our sugar cane and it is down here right now. Now we got 53. Now for some cow murder. I need leather, sorry. Now we have 23 leather, and we had a couple sheep casualties. I'm sorry sheep, I didn't mean to. Now we can drop off some of this food to cook, and I'm gonna get a little bit of stony stuff together here. Because I'm thinking back here, we can make a small sugar cane farm. Nothing too crazy big, just the area that we can access the sugar cane a little quicker. Let's just detail it up just a little bit. Of course, we gotta texture it. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a checkerboard pattern. Check that out. But I need one quick thing so I don't fall in those holes. You're not grown up yet. Hurry up and grow, I need more leather, thank you. Here we go, let's get some mangrove. Now for this, I can do a mix of these lovelies, the mangrove roots, but I can also mix in some of this bush. And then it's time to drop in all our sugar cane. And of course, this is just for now, where we'll be automating some later on down the line. But I can't leave it just like this. We must add more bush. The key to pretty things is just bushification, really. And now when we wait for this to grow, and these guys to grow up, 
I'm gonna drop our important sugar cane and leather over here in our valuables chest. Cause now it's time we do some mining. Let's see if we can get a bunch of diamonds together. Now I'm gonna see if I can break some of these pickaxes, but in the comment section, I want you to guess how many diamonds do you think we're gonna find in this one session? Now all of our iron pickaxes, they're dead. I even started using my diamond one now. And we got a good amount of material out of this too. And you're probably wondering, Sausage, where are the diamonds? Well, let me show you. Come this way. Now let's see who got this right. I decided not to break them yet. I'm gonna save them for later once we get fortune. But as of right now, without fortuning them, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Look at this one. So this was hard to count because it's in a weird space over here, so. Uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so 17 total, I think? Um, did I count that right? I probably miscounted, but whatever, 17. Then we have 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I think I counted those right. And that is it, 24. Who won? I see you back there, I see that one person won. The rest of you, get, get good. But that's what we have right now. Wait till we get fortune. Woo! Then we're gonna see how much we get. And we did this all in the safety of our beautiful little shaft here. I love my shaft. And while we're here, let's go ahead and get some obsidian for the enchanting table. This takes forever without efficiency. <laughs> I'm excited. It is enchanting table time right now. Let's make some paper, make some books, and there it is. GG to me. Now if I make a couple of bookshelves, um, yeah, that's only two. We're gonna need a lot more than that, but it's a good start. Oh, the pitcher pod! It made the beautiful flower. Is this the last stage? Are you under your final form, beautiful thing? Looks very alien-like, actually. I love it. I'm gonna leave it there, though. See if Rosie has some extra seeds. You have extra seeds for me, my sweet? Oh, of course you do. Beautiful, beautiful. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And you're gonna go right there. Now we just have to do a little bit more breeding and collecting of sugar cane. That's one, and that's two. I guess when we mined, we mined a little bit too far away from this island part. It's fine, we'll just hang around here for a little bit. Now while we wait for all these other things to grow up, I can actually give you an idea of what I have in mind for the building that we're gonna be surrounding the enchanting table with. It's basically something that all islands should have. It helps all the sailors find it a little bit better in nighttime situations, or maybe even during a storm. Yep, we're building a lighthouse. You got it, I can't believe it. All my lighthouse enthusiasts are just pumping their fists right now. Now let's just grab a little bit of stone and I'll show you exactly what I have in mind. So this right here is exactly what I'm thinking. So we got this nice little overgrown look, a lot of mossy, a little dip down to get to this section, and it looks kind of ruined, right? I wanna make this look like it's been here for a very long time. And it's really roughened up. And then I want to dip down our actual bookshelves down here. And then right in the middle, we can put our enchanting. Just like that. And while we're building it, I'll do a little bit of that. And <laughs> break up this whole thing here. Make it look extra broken up. And bring in some patches of mossy throughout this thing. Now that's just the outline. We've still got a lot to collect though before we build this structure. But I think it's going to look really cool. I am going to have to move these guys. Because uh, it's not going to make sense to have the animal pen over here. It's moving day, friends. I got them right in the back, and I separated them this time, so uh, no more accidental murders. So let's make sure we collect all the sugar cane, and all the leather. I'm sorry, I really need enchanting. Please forgive me. Oh, you're dead. But I'm also gonna need a lot of spruce. Oh, and Rosie's torch flower is here. Oh, that is so precious. I love it. Look how beautiful that looks. I got some cobblestone smelting away, which is amazing. We're gonna definitely need that for our lighthouse. And drop down the lovely bookshelves we have right now. It's almost there. Now we're also gonna be needing a lot more stone for this build, so let's go down into the mines and see if we can carve out a chunk of it. While I'm here though, I am gonna grab a little bit of andesite. I'm also gonna grab a little bit of diorite. Yep, that's right, diorite. A lot of people hate this block, but guess what? It does go well with other white blocks. Don't hate it, trust me. Expand your mind. Listen to me, mythical J Sausage. You've been hypnotized. Now you're gonna be enjoying diorite from now on, trust me. Ho oh, ho, baby. Yes, and I'm gonna be breaking all the blocks like this. 
it's actually pretty cool to see it in this angle. <laughs> Hopefully nothing bad comes out of this. Okay, I'm gonna stop just in case. I'm also gonna be needing a lot more white concrete, but I don't have much bone meal right now. So what I'm gonna do is grab some iron, grab some extra chests, and I'm gonna make a couple hoppers. We're gonna get some composters and some barrels. And I think right back here, we're gonna build something that I normally love to build in this situation. Oh, there's a composter here already. But we're gonna get rid of it because on the bottom, we're gonna put a barrel, a hopper, a composter, another ho Oh, I gotta break this. Another hopper, and that looks perfect. I made one more extra hopper. It's okay, we'll use it later in the future. I'm bad at math. So I'm gonna grab all these seeds, and we're gonna throw these seeds in this barrel right on the top. And that right there is the sounds of bone meal. <laughs> now this is perfect early game if you don't have a skeleton farm. And we'll let that accumulate. Oh no, it's raining, but you know what? That's not gonna stop us from getting a bunch of bamboo. It's gonna be our main roofing material for this side of the island. Besides that, we're also gonna need a little bit of jungle. Now I think we collected everything we need to make all the books and all the bookshelves. Let's grab some lapis and test this out. All right, let's fill this in. That might be good. I might have to put the corner bits, but I do have five left, so let's test it. So if we put our pickaxe and lapis, 24. Okay. Oh, that's fortune two. Let's just fill in the edges. I think this should do it completely now. This should be a level 30 now. Yes, it is. Fortune three, that's all I need. I just need two more levels. I got a good idea. We're gonna have to go deep down in the mines for this one. Now in Minecraft, there's so many ways to get XP. Either killing mobs, breaking ores, smelting stuff. But a lot of people forget about this. See the skulk? Oh, and I found more diamonds because I tested this out. And by testing this out, we got a bunch of extra diamonds, which is amazing because what you could do also is break these guys and they have XP hiding inside. <laughs> this is really cool, right? You just have to be sure not to uh, awaken any wardens by doing this. There it is, as quick as that. Level 30. Now we don't have mending right now, so I think the best thing to do is make a new diamond pickaxe. And trust me, we have the diamonds. We'll be fine. All right, let's see if this is gonna be good luck. If we just get fortune by itself, bad luck. But if we get efficiency on this with unbreaking, oh, ho, ho, nothing but good luck from here on in. Let's see if this enchanting area is gonna be worth it. So lapis, pickaxe, fortune three, and okay, okay. Not bad. Not a total disaster, but also not bad at all. New predictions in the comment section. How many diamonds are we gonna get now with Fortune Threes involved? I don't even want to check it yet. Let's go upstairs and see what we got. Also, we're back to 30. Oh, we can do some more stuff. Ah! Where did you come from? I'm coming upstairs with loot. What are you, a pirate? Sheesh. Thought I lit this place up, man. Okay, I didn't. I, I know it. Okay, I didn't. Whatever. I was almost robbed from my diamonds right there. Oh no, witch. Get out of here. The second I get money, people come around and want to ask for some. Excuse me, witch. Get away from Rosie. You're not wanted here. Get out. All right, let's check it out. How many diamonds did we get when we fortune threed all that? Oh, baby, a stack of 12. That's way more than I thought. Oh, man. I bet nobody guessed that. There's absolutely nobody would have guessed that. No, no, no. I think we're set now. So let's upgrade all of our gear, our helmet, our chest plate, leggings, and the upgraded air sausages. And we still have 52 diamonds left. Today's a day of upgrades. Let's upgrade everything. Starting with a hoe, a shovel, an axe, and a sword. Oh yes! That's the appropriate hotbar combination. If you don't have anything close to this, then you're wrong. You're playing Minecraft incorrect. Let me know, what's your hotbar looking like? But it's time to retire our lovely armor and put these bad boys on. And I have a spot, just like I said, to put the old gear. Oh, that is cool. We'll never forget you, beautiful first armor trim piece. We're so good at hardcore. Look at this. Now I'm gonna put a couple of these barrels in here. I ran out of barrels, I'll, I'll put another one in here in a second. But in here we can keep our lapis. On this side we can keep extra books and stuff like that. But I have level 30 right now. We're gonna use the ax a lot, so let's do this one. 
Whoa, okay, actually, I'm not mad. Now, I think I've collected a good amount of material to get this lighthouse started. So I got all these stones right here. We got mossy, we got the white blocks, we got some wood blocks right here. We're gonna make it look very overgrown and very nice and tall going up here for this lighthouse. So let's do it. Let's get this started. Let's build our enchanting ruined lighthouse. I am so happy with our lighthouse. Look how cool that looks. <laughs> I love it. Look at this little bit right there with the scaffold. It makes it look even more ruined and almost like we're patching it up. It's been through better days, so we're actually trying to fix it little by little. And over time, you have like little additions like this little tower bit over here on the side. It looks like there was some maybe connection to an underpass. Maybe another build over here that kind of got ruined and destroyed, but we still have the little underpass there to show the way. Just like we rated the starter house, rate this one 1 out of 10 sausages this instant. And 10 is the max. Don't go 11, 12, 15, 100, 100,000 or something. It, it, 1 out of 10. Give it to me. And the cool part is on the inside. Oh, I slammed the door in my face. Because right here, this looks like a parkour course, right? It looks like there was different levels and it got ruined and destroyed. Everything fell through and broke down. I don't have a way up there right now. You could do rope ladders, but not really. Just trap doors with ladders but it, it, we can make it look pretty cool going up there little by little and over here we don't have much just a bit of overgrownness some barrels and chests on the side i'm gonna put our brewing on this section once we have that available but now that the enchanting lighthouse is complete we need to find a way to get levels and i remember last episode we found ourselves a zombie spawner and we can make an xp farm out of it there's only one problem the only XP farms that I know, it needs soul sand for bubble elevators to lift up the zombies and drop them down to their deaths. Or to their almost deaths so we can then smack them around and get those XP balls. Uh, so I guess we're going into the nether, huh? Let's prepare. Now in order to get to the nether and be safe, we do need to make some gold outfit bits. I'm thinking a helmet will do just fine. Just got this diamond one too. Eh, I like it. Besides that, we do have some obsidian here. Let's see if we can grab a piece of flint on one of these. There we go. Let's get one piece of iron, make ourselves a flint and steel. And I think we head over to that ruined nether portal and use that. Just as a little temporary spot. Just need to get rid of this crying obsidian and replace it with real obsidian. Yay, advancements are fun. Let's get rid of all this. Let's grab this gold, woohoo. And then let's just fill in the rest, all right. Now, before we get on in here, let's take your best guess in the comments. What biome do you think we're spawning in? Let's see. One, two, three. Ah, we got lucky. It is the nether waste biome. The easiest, most tamest one. Except for that gas, but it's okay. They never saw me. But look at this. Soul sand right in front of the portal. So I took a couple bits, probably half a stack of it, and I headed back home. We'll explore this place later. And off I went back to our storage so we could gather some materials and head right down into the mines to find that spawner. That beautiful zombie spawner that I'm clearing out right now. And the clearing is pretty simple. It's just a 9x4 box with a little drop down. We're putting water on the ends and the water gets dripped down into one little column where we have the soul sand. Then up I go about 25 blocks and a little drop down to 23 on the other side. So they're about a one hit kill after. And then I started clearing out this room and I set up something that looks a little bit like a crypt, which is perfect for these zombies to be killed at. I used strip dark oak beams and also a lot of deep slate with a little bit of mangrove, some trapdoor action and some overgrown. What do you think of my crypt? I think it looks spooky and I love the overgrown on it. And this is the chest where all the drops are gonna be coming out. Our hopper's placed. I got a little carpet in there just in case if the zombies don't get stuck in it. And they might get stuck, you never know. So I put a little carpet down, but I haven't opened it up yet. So we have to go in here for the most dangerous part and um, get rid of the torches. So let's, uh, let's do that now. Just gonna grab a little dirt so uh, we can get out of here safely. Uh, it'll, it'll be fine, Th that'll fix itself up. But let's get rid of this one on top because I need to put a slab up here so nothing spawns. Let's get the dangerous ones out of the way, which is uh, uh, 
this one and this one and then hurry up hurry up hurry up and then we got this one and that one and then that should be good there it is oh baby oh you wearing full armor look how pretty this should work hopefully um, I should have tested this out before I made this room pretty, uh, but that was my mistake. That's my builder brain going crazy. Oh, that guy is holding a block. He might never despawn, but I will kill him in a second. Enjoy your death, my kind sir. Enjoy. Let's just fill this back up, and it should work lovely. Oh, there they are. Look at those cute little feeties. All right, let's test it out. The Crips aesthetic is preventing me from smacking thing. Um, yes, one hit kill. Oh, let's go. Okay. Oh, the XP gets trapped. All right, I did put the carpet back because some of the XP was getting trapped inside the hopper. So I think this should work out better. And now we have this trap door. So we can actually close it if things get crazy. And then I can still get this angle. So just in case uh, we don't get any of that XP trapped. I'm going to lose the crypt look to this, though. I want it to look like a little sarcophagus or coffin. Maybe something like this and it still works out. Yep, still works. All right, this is its final form. Let me gather some levels while we're here. That was fast. Right back to 30. And we're safe. You're dead. But another cool thing you might have noticed is this section right here. We have a way up and also a way down, which is perfectly safe. And over here, it's a secret. Maybe one day I'll show you. But there's something really sad that I must report as we go all the way up this bubble column to the surface. And uh, you'll see. We come out right here. This is the way up. This is the way down. It is right behind this lovely thing that we built, the mining entrance. But I really wanted to build something spoopy for this, and I'm not sure if I could fit it in. Specifically with this guy in the way, I want to build myself a little bit of a ruined church to be the housing area for the drop down to get into the crypt. But I think we have to move that guy uh, or modify it. So this is just like a basement to the crypt. I don't know. Uh, let me show you what I got in mind. Hey, Rosie, let's do a little bit of tree clearing first. Sorry, aesthetic trees. You were lovely at one point. Now you just gotta go. We'll replace you with something more fun and spoopy. F in the chat for our mining entrance. I did say it was going to be temporary anyway, so technically you shouldn't even be questioning what I'm doing right now. All right, it doesn't look that bad uh, for now. Let's put some stuff here. Trust me, I'm going to remember it's here. We're going to put it in this proper place, okay? Trust me, it's not going to stay here forever, and I'm going to forget it's here. Now to do a little bit of terraforming. But I'm not going to do it like this, because this shovel, it needs efficiency. Please, I only have one shot at this. Yes, good enough. Oh, no, it has fortune. <laughs> I cry a little bit. It's fine. I'm just going to use it for now, and then I'll re-roll it to hopefully get you some silk touch and efficiency four. But whatever. It's better than what we have now. Yeah, much better. I think this is a good amount of space cleared for what I got in mind. And in honor of the spoopy season, I'm going to be playing some very spoopy music. So get ready. Let's build ourselves a little bit of a ruined church. And there you have it, the ruined church. And you know what? I don't mind this bottom part being like that. It actually makes sense. Almost like the building that was there before was the actual original building. And then over time, everything got broken and dilapidated and all nasty. Whoever came to reclaim the island, built the church above it. And I think that makes sense lore-wise. <laughs> I like it. But we do have a little way up here, a little twisty twist. And then look at this, a lot of moss, a lot of bush, a lot of overgrown broken bits. And inside, oh, we're going to do some interior together. But also on this end, I just added a couple grave sites right here. Also, there's two ways inside the church. We can either go in this side or over here in the front. Either way, it looks pretty cool in here. Look at this. It looks pretty ruined-like. We're going to make it look even more ruined. But we can go down through this one and come up through this guy. It looks pretty ruined. I actually might break a hole right up here. But for now, let's add some details. So, of course, a little bit of a pile over here. Why not? We got lighting in here, which is pretty good. I think we're fine lighting-wise. I might save some spots here so we can add some big old flower pots. For now, we can add more details, like some hanging bush right here. I got some roots as well, so we can pepper that in. We add another pile over here, so we can mix some of the oak and some of the birch. I got some glow berries, so we can let these hang down. And a root on that one. 
On the opposite end, we could do the same thing. Add a couple bush mixtures like so. More glow berries and more root. I do have some lichen, so we can also add some of these up here. Just give a little bit of a nice glow to the place. More lichen here. And a little bit of a drop down bush section. This part's begging for some root. And more bush. I love bush. Another little sprinkle of glow berries. We'll let these grow down a little. And this part looks like it needs it too. Of course, we'll put some lichen on the ground. I do have a couple flowers we can scatter in here as well. And a sunflower. Why not? Also got one torch flower. Put it right there. I also have some vines that we can pepper in, which adds to the lovely overgrownness. And also a little bit of moss carpet. Why not? Yep. I think we nailed this. What do you think? Ooh, also, we're gonna need a name for this church. Actually, it's kind of small for a church. Maybe a chapel will make more sense. I really want to build a big church later on. But what should we call this old chapel? I'll hang a sign here, and next time we'll name it. What do you think of our little chapel, Rosie? What, it needs some trees? Yep, you're right. That looks a lot better, huh? I know you guys like this palm tree a lot better than this one. I'm still gonna scatter a couple of those, but I'm gonna make this the primary look for all the palm trees around here. And that looks a lot better now, doesn't it? does bring a lot of life into that spot right now. Ooh, that looks awesome. But I think we did a really good job in today's episode. We added a brand new enchanting lighthouse, a really awesome way to get XP, and an awesome little chapel to house the way down to get to the XP farm. What should we build next? Let me know, and I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.